That's a Simpson base plate for a 6x6 post. I've got them going down the line, uh, all bolted in place into uh, the pre-drilled holes that I put I drilled prior to the vapor barrier going down. So now they're all in line ready for the uh, post to be placed. So next I need to cut my posts and I don't know the exact height so basically I strung this string under that center block goes over the sill across and over that sill where it's also anchored. And right here I have the base plate where my post is going to go and what I'm doing is basically I'm putting the uh, measuring tape on the plate and then measuring up to the line and then right there I can see basically how tall that height is to make it equal with the um, the sill plates all the way around. So the top of the girder needs to be to that line and so the girder is made out of 2x12s which are 11 quarter inches so I've got all my posts resting in place now. They're not yet nailed in. But they're all resting and I've checked each and every one. Um, to make sure that they're all 11 and a quarter inches lower than the string uh, to make room for the 2x12 girder that will be going on. So, so far I've got the girder in place. I've got joints located over posts. Like that middle joint there is located over the post and I've been using clamps to draw the wood together as I've been going uh, and then sinking some screws um, to hold the wood together. Now I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna spike it uh, with nails. As you can see we're making progress about halfway done. So we're using 2x10s for the floor joists Basically, you know, nailing them in just to keep them standing. Um, got a bunch of small ones here. Um, joist hangers. The joist hangers had to be uh, hand nailed in, but then everything else is pneumatic nails. And it's looking pretty good. There's Dad loading up some plywood on top. We're almost done framing the platform. The train's coming.